We're reading Miss Nelson is back. Hello, class. I'm back. And make sure you subscribe and be our friend. And give us a like. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah. Miss Nelson is back. Yay. So, one Friday, Miss Nelson told her class that she was going to have her tonsils out. I'll be away next week, she said, and I expect you to behave. Yeah, Miss Nelson sent the kids in classroom 207. But at recess, it was another story. Well, Mill Miss Nelson is away. We can really act up. Yeah, not so fast, said a big kid from room 309. Haven't you heard of Viola Swamp? Who, said Miss Nelson's kid? Who's that? Miss Swamp is the meanest substitute in the whole world, said the big kids. Nobody acts up when she's around. Ooh, said the kids. She's a real witch, said the big kid. Ooh, said Miss Nelson's kids. I'll just bet you get the swamp, said the big kid. Eh, ha, ha, you're going to get the swamp, monster teacher. And she's not fun at all. So, just like the big kid said, on Monday morning, Miss Nelson kids were on their seats. They were very nervous. Uh, uh, some of them had not slept well all weekend. Oh, if we get the swamp, I'll just die, said one kid. They heard footsteps in the hall. Slowly, the knob turned, and the door opened. Who is it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. It was Mr. Blandsworth, the principal. I shall personally take over the class this afternoon, he said. Hello, class. I'm Mr. Blansworth. Miss Nelson's kids were so relieved. Oh, yay. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Woo. They, but they soon learned that Mr. Blansworth was not a lot of fun. He was dry as a mouse. All morning, Mr. Blansworth tried to amuse the class with his corny card tricks. Here's a corny card trick. Oh, brother, said the class. That afternoon, Mr. Blansworth showed the class's favorite shadow puppet. This is kid stuff, said the class. What? Then, the next day, Mr. Blansworth demonstrated his favorite bird calls. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. They were not successful. For two days, Mr. Blandwood showed slides of his goldfish, Lucille. This is Lucille swimming on her right. This is Miss Lucille swimming to the left. Mrs. Nelson's kid's never been so bored. <laughs> is this guy for real? He's dull as a clam. While dusting the racers on the schoolyard, three of the ringleaders of 2-7 discussed the situation. Something will have to be done, yeah. We must get rid of Blandsworth. He's so dull. So they hatched a little plot. After school, they painted and sewed and borrowed some clothes. So, so, so. Da, 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 da. They practiced some very difficult stunt work in the backyard. Okay. Hang on, Joey. Hang on. And then the next day, they weren't in class. It's too bad, said Mr. Blansworth. They'll miss all the excitement. Mr. Blansworth about to show the class's collection of ballpoint pens from all over the world. When someone came to the door, ballpoint pen, ballpoint pen from Germany, ballpoint pen from Italy. They slowly turned the knob and the door opened. Who is it? Come on in. Come on in. Hello. Oh, look, said the class. Miss Nelson's back. Hey. A tall and lumpy Miss Nelson tottered into the room. <laughs> Miss Blantz was surprised. You're back sooner than expected, Mrs. Nelson. The tall and lumpy Miss Nelson did not speak. Her throat must still be sore. Are you sure you're well enough, said Mr. Blansworth? Uh, uh, sure. Well, in that case, said the principal, I'll be getting back to the office. Now you, now we have you back, said Miss Nelson, and he left the room. Great to have you back. Welcome, welcome back. Glad your tonsils are better. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Blansworth. We'd really love you to take over. Sat down, cried the class. Wait, we got rid of Blansworth. Now we can just do as we please. Woohoo! TikTok, Instagram. At the stroke of 10, the kids from room 207 left the building and no one stopped them. Come on, everybody, let's go. And you know what? They went straight to the movies where they saw the monster that ate Chicago twice. This is really living. And they read Margaret Merlin's journal, The Battle of the Black Witch. Really, really cool stuff by A.A. Banks. And then they went to Lulu's where they stuffed themselves sillies. Ice cream, ice cream. But soon they made a serious mistake. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Heading back to school, they passed Mrs. Nelson's house. Oh, and Miss Nelson's couldn't believe her eyes. Those are my kids. What? What are they doing out of school? Who is that with them? What, what, what? Mrs. Nelson telephoned to see Blansworth to see what was going on. Hello, Mr. Blansworth. You're not Miss Nelson, said Mr. Blansworth. Miss Nelson is back. How dare you impersonate Miss Nelson? And he hung, hung up. And he hung up. Can't fool me. Hmm, said Miss Nelson, something will have to be done. And she went to her closet. Oh, let me see. 
My kids are acting out, up, and been impersonating me. And Mr. Blansworth, the principal, thinks they're me. Back in 2007, Miss Nelson's kids were spinning an agreeable afternoon. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, comics. Jack the Bear and Golden Hair by Serbert Sneakies is so cool. These comics rule. Oh, oh, oh. They were surprised with themselves. We should do more of this, they said. They did not notice the figure out in the hall. Slowly, the knob turned. My name is Viola Swamp, said the lady in a scratchy voice. Yikes, said the kid. The swamp. I'm a doll. Ah, ah. That's right, said Miss Swamp. And I'm here to what? this glass into shape and get it back to those deaths on the double or else you will read Margaret Merlin's journal The Battle of the Black Witch and really find out what witches do. She knew how to get results. The class did a whole week's work in no time. We should have got rid of Blansworth, they said. Oh, Blansworth was better. Pipe down, said Swamp, or just then someone thing under the desk attracted her attention. It was a mask. Ah, said Miss Swansworth, so that's your little game. And she tried on the mat, just as Mr. Blansworth stepped the room. Miss Nelson, I'm on the pity that someone has been impersonating you. Oh, whispered the kids. You don't say, said Miss Swan. Probably just some kids acting up. I'm sure it won't happen again. And Mr. Blansworth laughed. Thanks, Miss Nelson, for taking my my serious concern about this impersonation of you. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. That's what I'm here for. To train the kids. And train them to be good little kids. And it won't, will it? Said Miss Swamp, said the class. No more impersonation. Because the Swamp will be watching. Minutes later, Miss Nelson appeared. Hi, class. Hi, class. Hot dog, the kids cried. We're so glad to see you. Didn't you have fun with Mr. Blansworth? Said Mrs. Nelson. Um, well, he, he was showing us his pins around the world. They decided not to mention Miss Vale Swamp, but they wondered why Miss Nelson hadn't seen her in the hall. Well, thank you for watching. Wasn't that a fun story? Yeah!